this is working. I think it is. If you're watching later, hello. Um, let me pull this up. Oh, I should cover my birds. Let's see. What am I doing? How do you do this? I don't know. Hi guys, I am live on YouTube right now, so you should come and watch and join and Merry Christmas. <clears throat> I'm gonna cover my birds because no one's here yet, so I think I have a minute. Can you cover this for a little minute? Okay, I'm a mess. Oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain. Um, okay. I think this is working. Okay. Oh, this is, it is working. Look at that. Okay. Set you up here. I think that's good. Hi, guys. Welcome to the land of frustration. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas. Hi, guys. Hi. You're in residential. Good for you, Maria. I'm proud of you. Good for you, girl. Um, let's see. So I... Let me hurry and tell you. So I've been vlogging every day. And these past... Two or three days now I guess my iPad is giving me so much crap and it's making it really hard to like upload anything because the editing on my iPad my iPad has been screwed up for a while you guys know this like sometimes you'll see me upload a video and the sound will be like off with the picture it won't match up or else the sound will just like cut off randomly and then skip to a different part of the video randomly or I don't know, there's all kinds of things, but the the past few days, it's been giving me nothing but frustrating crap like that, and even more than that, like other stuff too, and I'm so frustrated right now. So I have, now after today, I have three days worth of footage for you, but um, I'm gonna, I decided to go live tonight and said, I covered you, little punks. Um, I decided just to go live for tonight and then tomorrow I will do my best to edit all three of those vlogs and put it into one big vlog and upload it. But for now, I'm just gonna go live. And that's okay, because I've been wanting to go live on YouTube anyway. It's been a little bit and I miss going live. I haven't been going live on live stream. I feel like I'm gonna die, but that's okay. Like it's so hard, so much harder than you would think. Um, but I love you guys just as much and I just love you guys and I'm and I'm grateful for YouTube, I'm grateful for you guys. That's awesome, Brianna, yay. Um, my children don't bother you, okay, thank you. Hi, jo hi, hi Jose, I love you too. Um, I am wearing the most epic sweatshirt ever. It's like combining my favorite things, Christmas and unicorns, are you kidding me? Just saying, just had to point that out. Um, Merry Christmas, Ariana, to you too. Shelly said, how was your day? My day was uh, hard, good, really good and then hard. So like I was just at Walmart with Danny and Paul and I had to come home early because my hips and my legs and my ankles and everything stopped working. This happens a lot and it's, I have fibromyalgia and um, pretty sure I have a little bit of arthritis too and so the cold makes it really bad, at least for my fibro, for sure. But I feel like something more is going on because this has never been this bad before. And it's not even that cold outside tonight, so it's really weird. But it feels like like fibromyalgia in and of itself is extremely painful. But then 
like imagine imagine like little crystals forming on your bones or sometimes it feels like it's in your bloodstream or something and then when you go outside in the cold those little crystals freeze and get even harder and pokier that that's kind of what it feels like inside like it's so freaking painful um yeah so anyway I had to come home early but today I got up and I went to Danny and Paul's work and I got to be on set with them I filmed it and I got to like watch them make a movie and it was so cool if I was the worst right it was so cool um like it was so fascinating and so much fun to watch so I'm so glad I got to do that and then um I'm gonna scoot the back a little bit because I feel like Anyway, um, so that was fun. And then we went Christmas shopping, me and Danny and Paul, but then I started to feel in so much pain that I just had to come home, so I did. So Danny and Paul are all still, all, both. Danny and Paul are still out. I think Danny's gonna come home soon though, I'm not sure, I need to call him. I really should call him because if he calls me right now, it's gonna interrupt the iPad. This iPad is driving me like every day, always. Okay, I need to call him real quick. So let's, um, let me find a question that I can answer while I call Danny. Let's see. Aw, can you shower me in the Christmas spirit? I'm not feeling it at all. How can I do that for you? Well, let's see. All I want for Christmas is all my teeth, all my teeth, yes, is all my teeth. All I want for Christmas is all my teeth, so I can't wish you Merry Christmas. Did it work? You're welcome. Um... Let's see, why are these comments not, oh my gosh. <laughs> you are so welcome, you guys. <laughs> Anything I can do. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Okay, hi. Lenny, thanks Lenny, you're adorable too. Um, <gasps> really Hayden? That's not good. Babe, ooh, please let me know how that goes. I have a lump in my butt cheek and it's all, I have all the foot, well not the footage of the lump, actually I do have a picture to show you guys. But I have developed this like, I don't know if it's a cyst or a, a giant, like you'll hear all about it once I freaking post this vlog footage if I can finally. I'm having some sort of a medical, like I'm dying, I'm not dying, but it, feel, it feels like a tumor in there. I don't know what is in there. And it's been drama that's been going on for the past three days. And you will hear about it if I ever, but I'll tell you for now, right now, I've got a lump, a bump, that's about that big around in circumference, like it's huge. It, used, it started about that big and it kept getting bigger and bigger and now it's about that big all the way around right in my butt cheek. and. The other day, I was telling Danny about it, and he looked at it, and there was this huge, huge uh, black pore. So we're like, oh, this is just like a ginormous pimple. Okay, so Danny tried popping it, and it wouldn't pop. So the next day, I woke up, and I looked in the mirror, and it had all come to the surface. Not all of it, but a lot of it had come to the surface. The hole got, the pore got bigger. The bump got bigger, like it started that big, and then it was like that big that day. And so then I tried popping it and it popped. Ugh, sorry. If you get grossed out by this, I don't blame you. Sorry, thinking about it makes me sick. Because I took a video of it. I'll explain why in a minute. I took a video for my sister Michelle. That's all I need to say. She is obsessed with popping zits and popping things. Like I called her the other day and I was like, hi, I have an early Christmas present for you <laughs> and she's like what I'm like well I seem to have this like ginormous something with pus in it in my butt cheek that you get to pop when you come up here for Christmas 
but then the next day it popped for me, but I only got like a third of it out. So then the next day I woke up and it was bruised and red and infected and just so painful. I can show you the picture of it. Be warned because my butt cheek is very, uh, very cottage cheesy. So you're welcome. I will be sure to not show you the crack. I think I edited it so that it would be appropriate to show on YouTube because I was going to put it in my video. I'm going to zoom in a little. That's a little bit. Um, this is the best picture I could get. Keep in mind, okay? Um, my butt is full of lumps, so it might be hard to tell. That's just cottage cheese, and I've got billions of stretch marks. And okay, so anyway, so here's a picture, and you can see my finger and thumb next to it, so you can tell how big it is. You can kind of see. Isn't that so attractive, guys? So it's like bruised. And then this was the day, this was the night before I woke up. And then the next morning I woke up and it was like red and infected and it's so painful. So I can't sit a certain way. I can't lay down a certain way. When I sit on the toilet, it's extremely painful because it like presses up against it. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's really, really fun. So yeah, it's very painful. <laughs> Do you think it's a cyst? See, that's what we're trying to... That's what I kind of think, but I don't know. I've never, I've never had a cyst like that. Like I have, I get cysts on my kidney and my bladder and my, uh, like I have fibrocystic breasts, but I've never, that I know I've had something that big or it's just so gross and so painful. So I know it's big, right? So, so yesterday, last night, I bandaged, like I cleaned it really well and then I bandaged it just in case it leaked or something. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting it out every day to see if it gets worse or better. And today it's kind of the same as yesterday. So I'm just kind of still waiting to see what happens. So I don't know. I know it's gross. Ugh. Um, <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper, that's, well, that's what, ugh. No, I can't watch those videos. I can't. But Michelle, my sister, loves those videos. Um, so hopefully it'll last till the 26th when Michelle comes and she can pop the rest herself. Unless it's like not safe to do it. I'm not sure. Oh, the 12 days of sock, the 12 socks of Christmas. Thanks for asking. I've just been opening them. I have this 12. Here, let me go grab it. Here, I'm going to put this on. I've been doing this like. Oh, it hurts to walk. Ugh. I got this 12 days of socks thing. And I was going to give away each day to Instagram. But then I quit Instagram for a little bit. So I haven't been doing it. So then I've just been opening them. And to be honest, they're such crappy quality that I don't think any of you would even want them. So I'm just going to keep them. So what day is today? What is today? I did it backwards. I shouldn't have done it that way. So I did like, so let's see. 10, I think it's day nine. I think it's number nine that I opened today. Yes, I think it's number nine. So this one. Oh no, never mind. That's already open. Eight. So eight. Where is eight? That's eight. Okay. Oh, this will be a big pair. The big pairs are okay. These ones, the big ones. But the little ankle socks that come in here, do I have any? Oh yeah, they're right here. Like they're cute, but the quality is terrible. They're super cute. They're just terrible quality. Like, like cheaper than the dollar store quality. Like they're not very good. So I just don't think it's worth like, I don't know. Um, okay, number, where did it go? What am I doing? Eight. And these are also really difficult to open. I don't know why. Mm. That can't be right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I think I'm a couple days behind. I think I need to do eight and seven. Ugh. Oh, nice. Merry Christmas. It's fantastic. Thank you. I don't know who I'm thinking. Okay, number seven. Ooh. See, they're super cute. They're just really small and thin and like like the first like I wore the first pair and there was a hole in them by the end of the day just from walking around in them so they're not good socks but it's still fun 
It's still really fun and cute to do. And I think I got this at Michael's Crafts. Anyway, it's fun. Oh, um, next year, I think I'm going to buy a better advent calendar and give away whatever's in there next year. But not this year, not yet. Um, speak, I actually need socks. I'm going to slip these on even though they suck. Um, I do not have merch yet. But stay tuned. But no, not yet. Oh my gosh, like they're already tearing. Well, where, well, welcome, Laura Triplet. Yay. I'm way better live than I am on my videos. Just kidding. I'm a mess on live streams. You never know what you're going to see. Merry Christmas. Um, better make fanny packs. Better keep your mouth shut. Stop giving it away. We'll see. Shanny fanny packs. Be more specific. Thank you, Jose. I have... Hi, Lenny. Welcome. I have three Christmas trees, so... Jana, are you making videos? That's my cousin, guys. Jana Hassan. That is my cousin. Uh, she used to do YouTube a long time ago, uh, back when it was, like, first popular, I think. So, like, back in, like, the days of, like, the cinnamon challenge and I don't know, all the challenges and things. But now her life's a lot different than back then, and I know she wants to... I don't know. I think you should do... you got to put comedy in there somehow, like, like I do. Like, no matter what you talk about, bring a lot of laughs with it, because... Um, and Jan is really funny. She's way funnier than I am. I don't know. I think you should just do, I just would love to see just your life, but that's me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. She is. She's hilarious. She really is so funny. Like, what the heck? You could do lives. Absolutely. Um... I do remember it, Amy. Thank you. Yes. The cinnamon challenge seemed dangerous. I've never tried. Should I try it? I've actually never done it before. Should I try it? <gasps> Someone just gave me money. Megan, don't give me money! Aw. She said, I love you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being you. P.S. Lemon will be here in 14-ish hours. <gasps> I'm almost to Cincinnati where she's flying to. Really? Please film! I know, sorry YouTube, don't get mad at me for addressing the Instagram family people, but this is a big deal. Please film it, Megan, please, 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 please. They are $180, I think, away from her goal, which isn't bad. I mean, hopefully, maybe they can just come up with that together. We've given all that we can give, but if you guys want to go donate, uh, there's uh, actually, Megan, if you can post the website right now, if you guys want to go and donate, if you want to get me anything for Christmas, do that, because I want to make sure she gets here for Christmas. For those of you that don't know, Lemon is a Shani fanny, and uh, I've gotten to know her a little bit better in the Instafam, and she has had a really rough go for a while, and um, she wants to come to, Megan here has invited her to come to the United States and spend Christmas with her and her family. The alternative is Lemon spending it alone or with her abusive family. So we're doing everything we can to raise the money to get her to spend the day with Megan. So everything's already paid for and everything, but Megan put it all on her credit card and stuff and obviously she needs to pay that off. So they were trying to raise $1,000 and I believe they're at eight something now. I don't know actually, but anyway, they're getting close. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you'd like to donate, that would be great. That would mean a lot to me too. Let's see. Um, don't try it. Should I not try it? What What is dangerous about it? The only thing that I was worried, there's Danny, whoops. Oh, oh, it did, oh good, it worked. Hi. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want Olive Garden. You don't want Olive Garden? Okay.
Okay, what do you want? You pick and I'll tell you what I want from there. I'll text you. So I'm gonna dry, mix your mouth dry. You know what, you have breathing problems. That makes sense, Morgan. I don't know. I'm doing a live stream. Uh, okay. 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 Okay, bye bye. What do I want from Taco Bell, guys? I want Olive Garden. What do I want from Taco Bell? Same thing I always get, Taco Supremes. Let me text, let me text Danny real quick. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell is delicious. I definitely want a large Skittles, please, because they're amazing. And then what else do I want? Mexican. Oh, look, you put Skittles drink. Good girl. Mexican pizza, what's that? Is it spicy? Is it spicy? Like, I know I want a taco, but I want something else too. Five beefy, five layer. I need something that's the least spicy possible. They don't have crunch wraps anymore? It's blasphemy. It's not spicy. A roll up? What else? What's a roll up? Oh, is that just like a cheese tortilla? Cheesy roll up? You're all saying to get a roll up. Mexican pizza is not spicy at all. What's on it? <laughs> so are you, Buzz Borderline. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a taco, cheese roll up, and then what is on the, on the, how big are the cheese roll ups? Should I get two? I'll get two, because I know Danny will eat it if I can't eat them all. Um, think. Okay, what is it called? Um, oh, they still have crunch wraps. See, even those were a little spicy for me just because their nacho cheese is a tiny bit spicy, but it's not too bad. What am I getting? Beefy five layer and mini shredded chicken quesadilla. Those sound spicy. I guarantee the chicken quesadilla is spicy. But what is the beefy, the beefy five layer? What's that? What's a beefy five layer? And is it spicy at all? Would be no. Like the the crunchy taco supreme, just the taco meat in there is the spiciest I can do. I'm not kidding. Um. Where are you from, Sunset? I bet I'm jealous of your food, too. I'm jealous of all the people, all Asian people, because I'm like, it's like the best food in the world. <clears throat> Burrito isn't spicy. Okay. Beef, beans, cheese, and sour cream. Okay, what's it called? The five... What's it called? Because that does sound good. What's it called again? Can you type it again? You're like a cow, all you eat is lettuce. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, aesthetic princess. I think I've done that before. That's why I'm a little hesitant. Beefy five layer burrito. Is it a burrito? Beefy. Beefy five. Layer burrito, right? Is it a burrito? Yes, it is. Okay. Sounds good. I'm texting right now. I'm, I'm here. Just okay. I'm sending it right now. Okay, bye. Uh, okay. 
There we go. Now I can pay attention to you again. <sighs> Let me pull it back up. I'm going to take my Prilosec for the meat. Hold on, let me get my meds real quick. I will eat the beefy taco with you when he gets here, and then I'm gonna go and spend some time with him. I mean, unless he's like super tired, we'll see. Hold on. So, start asking me a question. Give me, give me a question on, question, answer, because that's what I'm here for. What's a gordita? <coughs> oh. It's a bitch, isn't he? Um, how many people will be together at your family Christmas dinner? With my family, there will be like my parents and my siblings and stuff. Like Danny's family, there will be geez, how many people are in his family? So geez. I think 14 or 15 on Danny's side. And then on my side, there's so many. Um, oh, Julie is the only one that won't be here this year. So it'll be Mom, Rob, Angela, Sean, Lexa, Sierra, Dan, Michelle, Zane, Lindsay, Kaylee, Sadie, Zach, Mike, Laura, Isaac, Jill, Kira, Levi, Liz, Julie, Caleb, Philip, me, Danny. How many is that? 25 or something? A lot. We have big families. <gasps> Paul, stop giving me money, you butthole. But thank you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Aw, he's so sweet. We love Paul. You know you can ask me anything if you donate, Paul. You can ask me anything. Just saying. I mean, I don't have to dance, answer it, but I will. If you want to know anything. Um, who won't look at it the whole time? What are you talking, are you talking about me, Danny? Uh, I don't know anything, Paul. Anything, except you already know everything about me. You know literally everything about me now. Congratulations. Love you too. Um, I have a seriously important question. Where did you get your freaking sweater? I got this at Walmart. So cute. Am I right? Go get one now. And it was like 10 bucks. And it's the most comfortable thing. I got it in three colors. I got a red one that has like something Christmassy. And then I got a black one that has something Christmassy and they all have the stripes on the side and they're like super soft and stretchy and thin and $10. Like go get them right now. So I've been nominated for holiday cheermeister. Where's all my pudding? Where's all, where's all the puddings and the fudges? Did you make me different fudge Daphne? Did you make me pasta salad? I'm so excited. I've never been holiday cheermeister before. I would like to thank, I don't have anything that will work. What will work? Oh no, I need to find something. I need, I know, I know. I would like to thank the Academy of the Meister Cheers that have, that give it. And I would like to
thank Daphne for nominating and choosing me to be a holiday cheermeister. And may we all remember that no matter how meistered your cheer is feeling, it's nothing compared to mine. Thank you for this award. That's so great. That's great. Thank you, Daphne. That's great. Thanks. Ooh. Someone screenshot this and send it to me. Okay, we're done. <sighs> Thanks, Daphne. Love you, babe. Uh, I know, the pudding in that movie looks so good. How do they do it? Do you still have the video of smelling detergent? Did I make a video of smelling detergent? Are you talking about when I was talking about my strange addiction? Is this what you're talking about? Nice sunset, send it to me. Um, are you talking about, I totally forgot about that. I haven't had a problem with that for a really long time. So I haven't even like thought about it. What are you talking about exactly? Cause now I'm not sure. Tell me what it is exactly that you're talking about. Veganism makes holiday dinners hard. So many people don't understand. No dairy, period. I can't eat that. Why? Because sour cream is dairy. Sigh. No one. Sigh. No. I came. I can't have that either. Why? It has cheese. I, listen, I've taken the time to like, learn that stuff. I don't even know a vegan in my own life, really. I don't think I know one vegan personally, except for like fannies or online people. But like I, if someone in my family were vegan, I would take the time, I already have, and I don't even have anybody in my life that's vegan, but I would take the time to like learn that stuff. And I would try and make substitutions for them and, and try and like how can nobody know that? How can people not know that sour cream and cheese are not vegan? That blows my mind. Maybe they're super old. Are they super old? Like that blows my mind because I'm like, how do you not know that that's not what vegan is? Vegetarians can eat sour cream and cheese and all that, but not vegan. Point is, I agree with you. That must be really, really hard. And I'm sorry you have to deal with that. That's super annoying. Gluten-free is tough too, I've heard. Everyone's gluten-free these days, which means that they must have always been, they just didn't know what it was. Yeah, Paul. And then you dip, do you dip like Ruffles potato chips in it? Because that sounds amazing right now. Next time you come over, I want you to bring me some of your, some of your dip. Bring me your dip, Paul. Moving on. Um, oh, you want to see the t-shirt? Here you go. My hair was like, hold on. Let's, let's, let's try something. I'm not wearing a bra. You're welcome. So before I started, oh. Oh, it looks like I have short hair. <gasps> What's happening? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll leave it like that for a minute so people can see my shirt because it is pretty freaking adorable. No meat, no gluten. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> that means you can't eat a hamburger. Yes, Granny Goose, you're correct. I know. How hard would that be? Um, but it's good though that this day, I know we should have bought it. So Paul and Danny and I were just at Walmart and we bought or we were going, we were looking at, I have footage, maybe I'll show you here. Paul, maybe I'll show you here. Oh wait, but we didn't really get footage of you. We only, so we found a like a dirty novel, like a porn book. It's not tech, I mean, some people think it's porn, some people, I don't know, it, I think it's porn, but whatever. But you know, those stupid like really cheesy romance novels that you can buy at the grocery store. We found one and I had, Danny read some of it to Paul 
on camera and try to keep a straight face and he did a pretty good job. It was pretty funny. I'll probably put it in my blog. I don't know. Um, yeah, but it was funny. It was hilarious. We were going to buy it and like make a whole video, but we're like, eh, maybe not. We'll just slip it in. We don't want to make a whole video. That might be too much. Um, Um, if I do that, Amy, then I can't see this. I only have two devices with me. But maybe I'll find it and post it on my Instagram story if you guys want to go see it. Or you can post it here, Amy. That would be helpful, too. Um, thankfully, all my meds are gluten and dairy-free. Are meds not usually gluten and dairy-free? I guess I've never thought about that before. See, there's some I haven't thought about. Like, what medicines? I wonder. I'm very curious now. What medicines are not gluten-free or vegan? Oh, she wants to see the t-shirt you made. Okay, yeah. You should post it, Amy. That would be easiest. Well, or you could post the link. Or I could just put it on my story later tonight. Either way. Um, a lot of medicines contain dairy and gluten, such as gelatin capsules. Oh, oh, so like the ibuprofen gel caps that has gelatin in it. I never thought about that. Um, I'm so jealous, Sunset. I want to go. Take me with you. Did I get, did you get my message about... M G T O W M G T O W my great my great what it, wait what is it M G T O W my great tits on wagons no i didn't get it yet I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Detergent clean, queen. I used to be obsessed. Oh, I forgot to finish that conversation. Shocking. I used to have an addiction to smelling cleaners. Like there was a cleaner spray that I would smell. There's a laundry detergent and a dishwasher detergent that I would smell. It was really bad. Really, really bad for you. And like I started to feel physically sick from it so I had to stop or else I was gonna die probably so it's been a really long time since I've done that I haven't even done it once in this house so it's been at least a year and a half so that's pretty cool good times <laughs> oh and my doctor told me that it was probably because I needed some of the stuff that was in there so like I was probably low on calcium and something else because I told her I'm like not only do I smell it but like I desperately want to eat it like I'm craving to eat like the powdered detergents but only certain kinds or whatever and she's like yeah well that's because those do have stuff in it that maybe your body is craving like calcium and there's other stuff too that I don't know what else yeah my grandma's homemade cleaner was my biggest um addiction but even if I wanted to these days I can't make it anymore because they changed the, I used to make it with lemon pine saw was the main ingredient. There were other stuff too, but lemon pine saw was the main one. But then they changed their formula and it doesn't smell the same now. So even if I wanted to recreate that again, I couldn't. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise, to be honest. MGTOW is very sad, like militant feminism. I'm so confused. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, I'm sure low calcium can make your bone, bones hurt. Oh, yeah, Granny Goose. Yeah. That show is fantastic. Am I crazy? Or is it my strange addiction? There might be two. hungry. I don't think I've eaten today. No, that's not true. I ate a little bit on set. 
Because, like, they have so much food on set. And I got to spend time with Danny and Paul on set today. It was so much fun. Got to see the behind the scenes of a movie. <gasps> Thank you, Ariana. I'll check it after this. That's amazing. I'm so excited. Um... Oh, men who hate women, basically? Really? Rude. That's terrible. What's that about? Like, what? That's horrible. No, it's not. Laura's saying it's not. Okay, what is it actually? Someone tell me. Are you talking to me, rock star? I don't know who you're talking to. Um, anyway, on set, I ate like this big of a piece of a grilled cheese, but that's all I've eaten today, so I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> um, I know, what's not to love about us? We're so easygoing. We're so easy to deal with, are you kidding? Especially those of us with eating disorders and depression and anxiety and PTSD and, and borderline personality and bipolar and all of the things at the times and places where sometimes we're just like, I'm going to murder you if you don't leave the room. Thanks, bye. How dare you, Paula, how dare you? How dare you leave my live stream to answer the door? I want a divorce. All of the things. Oh, you're talking to Jessica. Okay, that's so sweet. What's wrong with Jessica? Is she okay? Anyway, someone asked me a question. We can, um... Paul, was it a Mormon missionary? Doubtful. Not a lot of Mormon missionaries really knock on our doors around here because pretty much everyone here is Mormon or we... Or everyone around here knows about it, at least. Uh, that's not true, actually. I think since we've been married, we've probably had about five times throughout our marriage. Which isn't very much, considering how long we've been married. But I think we've had s some missionaries come by. And we'll just be like, oh, we're good. We're already, we're already in it. And they're like, okay. Next door. Well, do you guys need anything else? Do you need help with anything today? No, we're okay. Are you sure? We're here to serve. That's our job. I know, but it's okay. You can go and help other people. Mad, mad props to the missionaries. Good, good people. Hardworking, dedicated. It's not easy what they do, and I have mad respect for them. Uh, Kelly said, hi, Shani. I start counseling on Friday. My mom's coming with me, but I'm scared. How are you? I love you and your tree and the birds. I love you too, Kelly. I'm sorry you're scared. Don't be scared. I mean, I get it though. I'm not gonna like tell you it's easy. It's scary at first, but I'm so glad your mom's coming. And this is your opportunity. I don't know what your life is like with your mom or whatever, but if your mom is willing to go to therapy with you, I think that's just such a beautiful thing. My mom's done that with, for me too. A really good thing to have your mom on your side when you're going through things or if you need to talk to her about things that you're scared to it's good that you're doing it in that setting or whatever so I'm proud of you good job are you okay can I help that that's small yeah the machine is working that's all we can get out of it a beefy taco because I said I'd try that with them because they're the ones that told me to get it. Who gave us that? Oh it's oh it's Paul's Christmas card. <gasps> so excited. <laughs> oh I love it. Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah they do it every year. That's cool. This is Paul's Christmas card. How long did it take? 20 hours the photos out they did like I seen the behind the scenes photos wait so he like designed that whole thing yeah these are real pictures that they did on a blue screen that he made uh -huh. he so cut them out you can see there's Paul's face and then his family members so like every year they do something like this do we have any other ones still I don't know 
Paul, you should um, put on your story your old, like, your ones from past years because those are super cool, dude. This is a good one, Paul. Well done. You're so talented. So cool. Where's your mom? Your mom's not in this. Wait, is she ever in them? No. It's usually, it's usually just the boys. And the That's so cool. Good job, Paul. Well done. All right, I got the beef burrito thing. They told me to get it. If it's spicy, where do I bite? I need to stretch my mouth. I'm being dramatic. I am. It's spicy. Who told me to get that? Who told me to get that? You're grounded. Jana, one of you told me to get it and you're grounded. It has the nacho cheese. I told you, I can't eat the nacho cheese. It's too spicy. Danny, however, might eat it. I thought you meant that it was normal cheese. Uh, uh, I know, I should have listened to you. No, because I've had the, the gordita crunch thing. It's good, but that also has nacho cheese. The nacho cheese is too spicy. That was really traumatizing. I'm very upset with whoever, whoever. Yes, I'm purposely copying Miranda. That's what I do. Spicy, so spicy. Okay, well now I'm worried everything's gonna be spicy. What else did I get? Ooh, I got cheese roll ups, let's try that. There's no way that's spicy, unless it's nacho cheese again. <gasps> it's regular cheese. Okay, this should be just fine. Pick it apart and what, Morgan? What am I supposed to do with it? This is good. I'm not a fussy eater. Only when it comes to spice. Listen, I can't help it. It's not my fault because, for those of you that don't know, why, Hayden? Is that a thing? Does that work? those of you that don't know, my dentures, wait, why is this spicy too? Maybe that's still spice from the other bite. Um, with my dentures, my dentures take up so much room in my mouth, you wouldn't think it, but it does. It doesn't leave me with much room in there, just because look how big it is. You see all that? Like it takes up your whole mouth almost. So you don't much room in there. So your tongue kind of acts as like, it helps you chew more. So like you're half chewing with your tongue and half with your dentures because you don't have a choice because there's not much room in there. And so chewing with your tongue all the time, you get these little cuts and stuff. So like even the tiniest little bit of spice is extremely painful, so. I wonder if I have milk. Why are these spicy? Is it still from the other thing? I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go be with Danny in a minute, so if you have any other questions, someone ask me a question. What do you want me to talk about? 
Emily! Takes forever to chew, too. Emily, your comment of the day. I read your comment for comment of the day. It's just not up yet. So what is wrong with Lee Lu? As soon as I do get this vlog up, watch for comment of the day on, I think, the second day. Because I shouted you out and I read your comment and it was really sweet. Yes, Amy. <sighs> what is happening? Sorry, one second. Just bad milk. Oh my gosh, everything is really spicy for some reason. Like, crazy me. What are you going to do? You want to play? Do you want to play? Do you? Wait, play what? What are we doing? Play a game. Oh, yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I told him I didn't end when you got home. Just play while we eat. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna go spend time with Danny. Um, let me find one more question to end on. Izzy said, are you going to do a meet and greet anytime soon? Love you, Shani. I love you too, Izzy. Um, well, we had originally planned we were going to do one in November or December, but that never happened. I'm guessing the next one will be in the spring, but maybe a Utah one sooner. I'm not sure. That's my guess. Okay, I'm going to go be with Danny. Thanks for hanging out. I'm sorry if this was boring or anything, and I'm sorry I can't figure out the vlog, but tomorrow I'm dedicating, like, as much time as I can. I've got a lot to do for Christmas, but I'll do my best to try and fix it and get it up tomorrow. And, yeah, so. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I miss you all. And I love you. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, my tongue is red. Uh. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, bye.